Hello everyone and welcome to a laid back but still hopefully good mukbang! Yay! So I got some pizza luce here on my way home from a therapy. That's a cool bag. How's that? A little bit? No, you can't really see it. I mean, I tried. So, oh, towelettes? What? Pizza Luce, you spoil me. So, I got some stuff that I haven't tried before. I'm very excited. I'm very hungry. So, for pizza, oh, that just, that looks glorious. Don't mind if I have this little black olive that fell off. Mmm. So, I got a veggie pizza, and then I got, now don't worry, I'm still a vegetarian. These are the mock chicken tender things. I don't know, I thought I'd give them a shot. And then I also got some carrot cake for dessert because it, it was calling to me. <laughs> and I figure since this is like a Thanksgiving mukbang, why not? You have dessert at Thanksgiving, right? Right. So that was happy non-planning in the sense that eh, eh. <laughs> I am having a cherry and lime LaCroix here tonight. Where are my manners? Cheers to you guys. This comes with two different sauces. I think they said barbecue sauce and then a honey Dijon. I will try both. We will see how they are. But let's see, we will put a napkin down for the condensation on these things. But like I was saying, I believe, it's a happy coincidence that, well, I don't know that coincidence is the right word, since Thanksgiving is always on a Thursday, but my mukbangs are always, for the most part, on Thursdays as well, so this worked out for this mock Thanksgiving, kind of, in the sense that it's not Thanksgiving for me, but if you're watching on the day I uploaded, it's Thanksgiving! Yay! Who knows? Maybe you're not even living in America, so you don't care. Oh my god. Someone down the hall must have opened the door, or a door, or something. But it sounded like... Sounds like that's for me! And it was for me! You guys can't really see these, can you? I mean, I know it doesn't, like really matter but some people you know they like to see the food in these in these mukbangs i understand so here we go we'll throw those on there but yay my barnes and noble order happy day mm-hmm they're good i mean i think i remember what chicken tastes like been years, but I mean, I feel like it tastes like a mock chicken. Yeah? Mmm. Mmm. That Dijon, though. That's delightful. I'm gonna try it mixed. Anyone else? Are you a sauce mixer? Did that just gross you out that I would mix them? Mmm. Those are actually very good mixed. I feel like everything in life is, well, most things in life are worth trying out at least once, right? Mmm. Mm hmm. Mixing those sauces, oh man. Oh man. Game changer. I don't know why my body has such a hard time handling slash processing bubbly things, but I like them. It's just like, I see some people, most people really, and they go to take a sip of like some sort of carbonated beverage and they can like gulp, 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 oh my gosh, no, I will, it will all come right back up. I, well, I don't know that it would actually come back up, but... It's painful. It's very painful for me. 
But like doing little sips is fine. But anyways. Mmm. These are hitting the spot. Pizza. I'm kidding, I love pizza. But happy Thanksgiving to anyone. Anyone, really. If you don't celebrate it, just think of it as a day to give thanks. Just another day to be thankful for what we have. And now I just, I feel good. Okay, let's have some pizza, shall we? Pizza Luce makes such good pizza. <laughs> such good pizza. Like, you know how there are some pizzas where it's like, I mean, that pizza's good if I'm drunk. And, like, thankfully it's cheap. But Pizza Luce is expensive, and there's a reason. It's delicious. So on the veggie pizza, can you get a look-see there? Um, I'm trying to think. It's tomatoes, black olive, onion, green pepper, mushroom. I think that's about right. <laughs> mm. It's just good. Like, they've got tons of actual specialty type pizzas. Pizza Luce does, but... Everything, even like their normal stuff like this, like it just, it tastes so fresh, all the ingredients, and it's just, it's really good pizza. It's really good. It's definitely a treat yourself pizza, but I mean, whatever. And then it's cool too because they've got, if you're vegan, they've got tons of vegan options. Sometimes I'll get it if I'm feeling like not having dairy. They have vegan cheese there, so I'll just get vegan cheese on it. Um, yeah, and they've got tons of like gluten-free stuff for people that need that. I just really like Pizza, pizza Luce. <laughs> As much as I'm enjoying this pizza, these tasted so good. <laughs> but yeah, I also went and got my oil changed on my way home from therapy. Mm hmm. I know. I know. My life is very exciting. Don't be too jealous. But the guy that was doing my oil and stuff, he was he was so complimentary. <laughs> he just like was telling me every five minutes like how pretty my eyes were. And I'm like, I'm literally not wearing makeup today, but thank you. <laughs> But I figured that was something that I should do, going to get my oil changed, because, well, it was on my way to therapy, but it was one of those, like, horrible world coincidences where the minute my car decided to tell me that my oil was low, it, like, made, I've never heard it do this before, but it's not like my oil was critically low or anything, but... I must have never let it get quite this low, but as I was driving, all of a sudden my car just started like bling 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 bling, like making 
bling noises and I like looked down at my dash and it it only happened for like a split second and it just said something along the lines of like excuse me something about my oil and then shut off engine and I was like because like immediately when that was happening also uh I'm trying to I mean it doesn't really matter but um a what is it called an ambulance all of a sudden turned on and like needed to go behind me and a police car out of that way like at the intersection ahead of me started going so like I had ambulances in both directions plus my car started making these noises I seriously thought someone was gonna like drive up next to me and be like your car's on fire bro thankfully that was not the case <laughs> But, I figured the world was trying to tell me, Cassie, you really need to get your oil changed. So I went ahead and did that. I, like, don't know anything about cars. Would your car, like, explode if your oil got to zero? I don't feel like it would explode, but I feel like something awful would happen, wouldn't it? Maybe? I don't know. It seemed like imminent danger today. Mm. I don't know why these are tasting so good to me. But they are. Maybe this will be a mock chicken nugget mukbang. Mmm. <laughs> I think it's those sauces. They're just killing it. Mm-hmm. They're really yummy. Sometimes I feel like it is the sauce that makes the food, yeah? Maybe? I don't know. In this case, I think so. So yeah, I know quite a few people have been asking me how my therapy has been going. It's been going good. I always feel a little weird, like, talking about it, which is so weird. Like, I don't have any reason to feel weird. Can I say weird another time? Weird. But. Because even with, like, family and friends and stuff in real life and they ask me about it, I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. It's like, I know that my friends and family care about me, but something, something about when like people actually ask me on a deeper level of like, hey, how are you doing? But like really asking you about a deep part of how you're doing it is, I don't know. I'm not crying. My eyes have just been very watery lately, legitimately. But, yeah. Huh. That's something I need to get over. Because it's one of those things where it's like, I love and really care about my friends. Like, I know I would want to know about this stuff from them. But yeah, I don't know. It's like I just clam up when people ask me. But, either way, it has been going really well. So I think we're, like almost officially two weeks or two months in mm. I think next week will be the end of two months and it's been going good I figure I'll probably do a whole like dermatilia dermatilla dermatilia Dermatillomania update. Like a whole separate video just about, you know, things I've found that have really helped me and the struggles of it and everything, but like therapy, and I'm assuming it's like this with most, if not all, types of therapy, be it if you have like a 
body focused repetitive behavior disorder isn't that what it's called bfrb body focused repetitive behavior yeah bfrb yeah um but be it that or be it you're going to therapy for something else um it's uh where was i going with that it's hard. <laughs> Therapy is a lot of work. It's not like you just go in for your however many hours a week and you're only working on it in those hours a week. It's like literally a 24-7. I mean, granted, I suppose when you're sleeping, that doesn't count, but every single second that you are awake, it's on your mind. And that's good. Like, that's the point. And it, it does make it really hard, but... Especially with it for dermatillomania. I don't want to like speak on behalf of anything else, so I'll just say specifically for dermatillomania. It's such a. And for me, you know, having had this for what, like 20 plus years, it's become such a deeply ingrained habit in me, the skin picking. That it, it's crazy once you do finally get your awareness levels up and you really see how often you do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it, it makes it so... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. I, I, this is why I haven't made a video yet so far is because I really need to put my words together. I need to formulate sentences <laughs> because I definitely know what I'm feeling, but I don't feel like I can express it very well. Mm. Hmm. 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 Yeah, it's just, it's, it's very automatic, and with any kind of habit, habits are really hard to break, and you know, I feel like there's so many things, like, online and stuff, where it's like, it takes 14 or 15 days to form and break a habit, that's a load of bull. <laughs> Especially if you've had said habit for 20 plus years. Or even a year, I would imagine, you know? It's a habit and it takes a long time to break. Just break in general, but then also to form new habits. I think my therapist said it's definitely more along the lines of like four months that it takes. And even then, that just might be the start of the breaking of that habit. But really bringing your awareness to that habit, it's, yeah, it's so important and it's so eye-opening. I think I had mentioned this. Mm. A while back, maybe closer to when I was starting therapy because it was one of the first things that I had to do, but my therapist had me write down every single time either I thought about picking or I did pick. Every single time I had to write down that I did it, what day it was, what time it was, what am I thinking, what am I feeling, how long did it last, and it was just like even after two days between my two sessions, my first couple of sessions with her, I just had pages and pages and pages and it's like I probably missed some but like just starting that awareness it's just it's so eye-opening to actually like see it all written out and everything because it's like I know obviously I have a problem and I know I pick a lot but to like see actually how much whoa and then just figuring out You know what your triggers are you know I feel like that word has become so like memeified these days but like you know actual legitimate triggers like for 
for me, one of my main triggers that I didn't even realize was literally every single time I went to the bathroom. Liter like clockwork. I didn't notice that was one of my times that I really picked. It's like within the steps, you know, that normal people take to go to the bathroom, you know, walk in, turn the light on, pull the pants down, do your business. It was like, for me, it was those steps, but then it was, you know, sit down, pick, do your business, pick the whole time, etc. Sorry, I know we're eating, but like, that was huge for me just to be able to see that that literally happens every single time I go to the bathroom, you know? And I drink a lot of water, so I go to the bathroom at least, you know, upwards of 10 times a day. It's a lot of water. But yeah. Just figuring those things out and being aware of that. And setting yourself up for success in those situations. Like now it's like every time I walk into the bathroom, I sit, I like in my head, I sometimes physically, you know, close my eyes, deep breathing. I've got my square breathing that I do sometimes and a couple other things. And it's just like, it gets me through it. And it's, it's kind of amazing. And like now that I finally have had progress, you know, like I think notable progress, progress that even I'm proud of because I mean like even with some of the littlest things sometimes early on in therapy my therapist would be like I mean I'm exaggerating but like yes like that's so great yes party time where's the cupcake train bring it in you know like like I said I'm exaggerating but like I was never that excited because I'm and I think a lot of humans are we're a lot better at being hard on ourselves than we are at being nice to ourselves but I'm finally, I'm finally getting to a point where I can sit there and see the progress that I've made. And I'm like, girl, good on you, you know? And that's a, that's a really nice feeling to have because it has been so hard. But I was also so ready to change, so, yeah, robber, 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 <laughs> sorry that took up, like, the whole muff bag. <sighs> that was delicious, I'm gonna put those little nuggies aside, seriously, so good, so good, if you ever go to Pizza Luce, and you're, <sighs> I don't know, I always feel weird recommending it to an actual meat eater because I'm like, I don't know that they would actually enjoy these. But definitely, even if you're a meat eater, try these sauces and try them together. Oh, so nice. But if you are vegetarian or vegan, these are very good. They're very, very good. So, dessert anybody? I actually have to um, make a dessert tonight. That's my job for tomorrow for Thanksgiving. Why is this so hard? Making me work for my dessert. That's okay. Oh, so yummy. You guys, I don't, I think the last time I've had carrot cake was in undergrad and it was like one of my first years of undergrad. Look at that. It is just, it's the kind with the nuts and the actual pieces of carrot and also pineapple. I do like pineapple in my carrot cake. Have I been calling this cheesecake? I might have been. Carrot cake. <laughs> but actually, I love carrot cake so much. It's so good. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. So, yeah, I'm having three Thanksgivings this year. <laughs> oh, the life of a split family. So I'm having it with my mom's side of the family tomorrow on actual Thanksgiving and I'm in charge of bringing the dessert or one of the desserts. So I'm making, um, my aunt is bringing pumpkin pies and so, and she wanted me to make something for dessert and so I was like, hmm, like what would go good with pumpkin pie? Cause some people don't like pumpkin. 
And so I was like, what would someone that doesn't like pumpkin like? Which is always a hard question for me because I like pretty much everything. <laughs> so um, I just picked out a recipe from my grandma that is really super good. They're just bars and they're like uh, kind of like a crumble and caramel and they're just, they're really good and simple and nice and I feel like everybody likes them. So I'm gonna bring those. I have to make them tonight right after this video and yeah so I'm doing that and then this weekend at some point celebrating with my dad and my brother I mean my brother will be there at my mom's side and everything but he and I are gonna celebrate with my dad and then on I don't remember which day but one of the days of the weekend I'm celebrating with my stepdad's side of the family and I'm in charge of bringing the sweet potato dish to that one so Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh that's good. Mm -hmm. Fluffy. Moist. I will say, I would have liked, and this is a personal thing, but the strip of icing going down the middle I think they skimped, but you know, that's just my personal thing. Cause I like it cause then it's like, you know, obviously you can't have this whole part as one bite. I mean, maybe some people can, but it's like you get that top bite and it gets the icing from the top. But then on this bottom bite, you want that icing from the middle, but now I really don't have any. So. That's that. It's so weird though, like, being a baker, I mean I'm not a baker, but it is something that I'm good at. I don't do it nearly as often as I used to, mainly because I know it's a danger to me, you know, if I bake something, it's like, great, so now I have to eat this whole thing, and knowing me, I'm gonna eat it all in one or two nights. Great, <laughs> let's not do that. But I have a carrot cake recipe that is like, it's really, really good. And so when I'm sitting here eating someone else's baked good, I'm thinking how I could make it better. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's like, Cassie, just enjoy the dumb carrot cake. Mm -hmm. Their cream cheese frosting is really, really good though. I just think the base of it could be a bit more spiced. It's still really good. Don't get me wrong. I just think it it could use a little more spices. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well and if you are watching this on Thanksgiving, be it just in general or if you are specifically watching this on Thanksgiving and you don't have someone to eat with on Thanksgiving, maybe you're out of town, out of state, out of whatever, country. I hope it was nice to be able to eat with me here. I know it's not the same, but... You know, it's it's something. I understand for three years I was by myself for Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the holidays and stuff when I was out in Boston. Uh, so, I mean, I wasn't alone, but I, I wasn't with my family celebrating, you know? So, I know what it feels like. And I know it can be a lonely time. I know as much as, as much as people, myself and, you know, most others included, we complain about family and... You know, it's hard making time for them, and blah, 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 and you have certain relatives that are not the most pleasant to be around, and whatever, whatever. It's still something to be grateful for, and I know I'm, I know I'm very thankful for my family. I, I feel like I lucked out with most of my family members. <laughs> like I said, we all have that one odd or two odd people in our family that it's like, you're not the nicest to be around. But they're family, you know? So, 
it is what it is for the most part my family is awesome so I'm very thankful mm-hmm so that'll be good to see everybody tomorrow and this weekend it'll be a long weekend but I've been prepping my bootay off. I've got videos filmed and ready for Saturday and Sunday. And then this one I'm going to have to edit and upload for you guys for tomorrow. But otherwise I feel good. I feel decently ahead of my game. Knock on wood that it continues that way. It's been feeling really nice to like pretty much immediately after filming something edit it because you know before and normally it's like I'll film something and then I don't get around to editing it till you know a week or two later but lately I've been filming and then like that day or the next day editing it and getting it uploaded um, and a lot of times I've been getting two videos edited a day, which is crazy, but it's made it really good to feel ahead and stuff so that, you know, for times like the holidays, I know I can go and spend time with my family and not have to worry about, oh my god, I need to get home, I need to edit that video. You know, I know I've got you guys covered for the weekend. I can actually relax and enjoy my time with my people. But yeah, it's been a whole different experience too. Because it's like, sometimes I'll publish a video for you guys, you know, and I maybe edited it and uploaded it maybe a week ago, and so you guys will be commenting and I'm like, I don't remember anything that I said in that video. <laughs> like, what are these people talking about? So then I have to go back and like, excuse me, rewatch it and whatever, figure out what you guys are talking about so I can have an actual intellectual conversation with you guys slash an informed thing with you guys. But, mmm, yum. Carrot cake is so underloved. I feel like I know so many people that hate carrot cake, and I'm like, oh, I love it. you guys there was my mukbang for this week happy thanksgiving again to anyone who is celebrating and also just thank you guys for being you for those who celebrate for those who don't for those who are watching this not on thanksgiving and for people who are you guys are amazing i'm so thankful to have you in my life and just very appreciative and i hope it was fun to sit down and have a meal with me or maybe you had me on while you were doing dishes or something. I just hope you enjoyed sharing this time with me here. If you did enjoy this video, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. You can become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!